Spent countless times that I told myself I didn't feel a thing for you And I was sitting all alone in my bed Thinking about you and how you made me feel No way I've never felt Black and black and white Might crash my whip tonight Just wanna feel alright Cause I feel dead inside So, so long my inner child is yeah, I feel like Miss Sean, boy, faded in the ashes like Infinity Stone. Pass away and let the dirty streets take her. Beauty and the sadness, flowers on a grave. They're good if we try to get in my way. Lately, I've been thinking about this life I know. Feel like Miliotis, cause I'm about to blow. Mind on a mission, got the fire in my eyes. Passing the beat, that's a double homicide. Lately, I've been thinking about this. Demon's talking to me lately. Don't, don't make it sound, can anybody save me, baby? Why is it so easy for you to leave it all? Living in September, every day I start to fall Deal with all these issues the worst way, I'm nauseous Hard to give it all I think for you And I was sitting all alone in my bed Thinking about you and how you make me feel No way I've never felt before when I was sitting Live in LA. On the show, we've got Renz Anthony, singer songwriter from Chicago, Illinois. And he talks about his brand new song, Tears Fall Down, talks about the process in writing that song. And as a bonus, we also have the sister Coco Abigail on the show. So here we go, Vilma, live in LA. Velma Live in LA, welcoming back Renz Anthony, singer songwriter from Illinois. Yay! Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> it's just such a pleasure having you again. Okay, so you just recently released a brand new song, Tears Fall mm -hmm. Down. And we'd like to know more about how you came up with that song. Uh, so with that song, uh, with my music, I kind of just go about like what I'm feeling. And currently I'm just kind of dealing with a, a breakup. So kind of just put my feelings into music and kind of just let out as my outlet to cope with everything and came out pretty well. And so far people really like it. So, oh. yeah. Well, that's what they say about, you know, songs that really touch people's heart because it's really all about experience. Definitely, yeah. So how long did it take you to actually, you know, finish the song? How, when it started flowing in your, from your life? Yeah, so I um, actually woke up like super early, like four in the morning. And I couldn't go back to sleep, it had thoughts in my mind. And so I didn't want to just like, get caught up in what I was thinking so I just kind of started writing and I think in about like five hours I was able to finish it actually like sometimes you know with songwriting sometimes it kind of takes a while to gather everything and put it together I think I was just kind of locked in and I ended up finishing the song in the same day so yeah yes that's what they say a really good song when you're in the zone it just, you know, transforms itself. And so that means it's a really good song. Yay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The lies, all the colors gone and faded. Now it's black and black and white. Might crash my whip tonight. Just want to feel all right. Cause I feel dead inside. So, so long, my inner child is gone. 
eyes, yeah, I feel like Miss Sean Boy faded in the ashes like Infinity Stone And you also released an EP, right? You had four songs Noir, mm. Arson, Beauty and Sadness and I Got You So your mm. EP title <laughs> Eternal Embrace How did that, you know come about as well? How long did that take you, the process? It actually, um it was like a project that I kind of chipped at like over time. Mm -hmm. I think I was trying to figure out what my direction is with it. And what I did was I kind of just like told a story. Um, it The EP, the message of it is kind of like a double meaning. It's either like finding the person that you're meant to be with forever or kind of like the cycle of love and, you know, heartbreak, healing, falling in love, and then the cycle kind of just keeps repeating. So it's also a sad love song or love project at the same time. And over time, kind of just, I would work on this song. And then I felt like, oh, wait, this one would fit well with it. And then I kind of just saw the vision for that, like the message of that over time. And then it came together and then I finally released it. And so far, people really enjoy it and I'm, I'm proud of it. So, yeah. Uh -huh. She don't like the way that I be taking all these potions But you are the reason I be going through emotions I'ma take your heart and break it, throw it in the ocean Cupid, I'm some bullshit like the road So, how long does it take you, like, when you go into the studio with the producer? How long do you sit there and, you know, you record your vocals, right? Mm -hmm. You also listen to the playback and see what type of effects. How long did that take you in the studio? So um, shout out to my uh, engineer. His name is Frank with uh, Ducati Recording Studios. Um, I've gone with him for like each one of my singles. And essentially the process is I write my I write my music or my songs and then I go to the studio and I book two hours. It would be an hour to record my vocals and then an hour to for him to uh, mix and master it. So whenever I go to the studio, it's usually like two hours and the song is done. If there's any revisions, I just message him and he just kindly works on it and then sends it back to me. So that's been the process as far as like recording everything. So, yeah, I I can understand it. Coming from a long line of a, a family that's in the music industry, mm -hmm. how did that, you know, feel uh, when you started to be in the industry? How did they yeah. react to it? They, they've been very supportive of me. Mm -hmm. um, my mom has been um, very supportive, too. Uh, with my music she tells me that she's proud of me and uh, it feels good because growing up like she was a singer so as a kid I was always just around her going to different gigs you know singing and like I admired it because I, I thought she was really good uh, my other family members too always sharing my music and always giving me feedback and for me just I feel like when I was growing up I was just very shy like I would I would be encouraged that uh -huh. um that I have like a good voice that I can sing when it came to other people, you know, as Filipinos, we like to do karaoke too. <laughs> uh, I would get shy around other people. So for me, it did mean a lot for me to one, like connect with my family, do my own thing with music, but also just like break out of my shell and just be able to, you know, share my music and go into the studio, make songs with confidence, honestly. So, yeah. So that's a good way of really expressing, you know, yourself song definitely mm -hmm. yeah. so you have a lot more that's going to come out right yes over <laughs> time because it seems like my music just goes where my life is going what i'm feeling and i feel like it's not something that i'm just going to let go so over time just i feel like one day i'll just look back and there's different stories within my music and i'll just be like proud of that you know and kind of show people in the future show my kids god willing so it's great <clears throat> Beauty and the sadness, flowers on a grave They're good if we try to get in my way Lately I've been thinking about this life I know Feel like I'm in the yardage cause I'm about to blow Mind on a mesh, I 
Watching out the fire in my eyes Passing the beat, that's a double homicide Lately I've been thinking about this life, I know So what has been your most challenging song that you wrote? Um, it's, it's probably this last song. It's just a lot of like emotion. It was like, uh, it was like therapy for me. Just mm -hmm. like, I don't, like I, I'm getting like older, kind of just learning more about myself. I need to like work on things so I don't get, like stuck in my thoughts like to you know feel so terrible and I felt like I, I want to put my feelings in the music right now but you know it is like really intense feelings it's very real so that's why it was probably difficult but in the end it did help me a lot just to cope with what I was feeling manage my thoughts so yeah, yeah. well <clears throat> I have one of those songs where it's my anthem song the key to my life is me and it's it's mm -hmm. almost like probably similar to yours. It was like a breakup, um, mm -hmm. but it was more than just a breakup. And so I actually wrote that song about an hour or so. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so to this very day, it's my favorite song. It's my anthem. The key to my life is me. <laughs> I gotta check it out. <laughs> it's your life. <laughs> it's been countless times that I told myself I didn't feel a thing for you And I was sitting all alone in my bed Thinking about you and how you make me feel In a way I've never felt before when I was I love it. Yeah, so what would be your, um, of course, your advice to other artists that want to record they have i'm sure they have a lot of songs to sure you have got friends what would you say to them i think you just got to keep going i think if i stopped at this point or at this point i feel like i wouldn't have reached like where i'm at now and i feel like i'm still improving at a certain point i there were things that i feel like i couldn't do or feel like wow no one's really listening to me or like oh, my voice i feel like isn't improving but that's what you got to do you just got to keep working at it the results will come and I think my biggest advice is to just have fun with it like I don't go into um I don't approach my music by like I want to quit my job and make some money I oh I I want all these people listening to me like for selfish reasons it's more like I was a really shy kid I love music I'm just happy now that I'm like confident and just being able to put out my art like that's in my mind like out there and that's what I my approach has been and I feel like over time it's just gonna reap results but my advice is to just keep going and that's how you improve and not yeah. really let things get into your head what people say and just keep working so just keep following your heart and follow your dreams I don't feel real demons talking to me lately hit me down don't make a sound can anybody say Baby, why is it so easy for you to leave it all? Living in September, every day I start to fall. Deal with all these issues the worst way. I'm nauseous. Hard to give it all when everybody got singing wise. How do you prepare? Do you do a little bit of vocalization? Honestly, I, I feel like I could do more. Like just like vocal warm-ups and stuff. I feel like my process has been um I have like allergies. So I take like allergy medicine. I would like sing like songs that I like my voice. Like I like how my voice sounds or like similar to like the key that I'm about to sing. Kind of sing that prior to recording. Stay away from like dairy and stuff and then drink some tea just to clear my throat. Like that has been my process. I feel like I can improve it though. That's what I do. That's wonderful. All right. So you've got a little sister. Yeah. yeah, my sister. That's also in the recording industry. How does that feel like both you and Coco Abigail, you know, recording your own songs? It's great. It's just, I, I feel like I haven't really gotten the chance to. I think what I struggle with the most is like with my music, I feel like I rap about like, rap or sing like really personal stuff. And I'm trying to find like, I would love to make a song with my sister, but like, what would the subject matter be? Um, one thing that we thought about was maybe just like writing a song for our sister that passed away. I feel like that would be really meaningful. 
Um, but definitely something that I want to do down the line. Just got to find like a middle ground, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, that's wonderful. Actually, I've got one. I've been writing one, a new one for her. So. Oh really? What's it called? Yeah. I'm not not there yet, but I am oh, okay. already. I just started. <laughs> I just started um, because we already have, I believe, four together um, mm -hmm. with Coco. So yeah. Sometimes I told myself I didn't feel a thing for you, and I was sitting all alone in my bed, thinking about you and how you make me feel in a way I've never felt before. When I was sitting all alone in my bed, thinking about. We spent countless times in a tension for the infinity. Do you ever get a chance to perform your music? I um like I said I got I've been shy I do want to get there um I I feel like I'm just I just need to know where to start um so I might I might look into that and see if there's any like local places I could just start at just to get like my feet wet just to get like yeah. the nerves out the way so how can they find you where can they find you get your music yes. So um, my name is Renz Anthony. Um, you can find me on all like streaming platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. Just type Renz Anthony. Um, and on social media, the one I use the most is my Instagram page, my artist page. And you can find that um, at underscore Renz Anthony underscore. Um, but that's pretty much what I use. That's mm -hmm. good. So what's the future for you? Yeah, so... Um, Currently, I'm actually working on my first feature with somebody. Um, like I said, I have 15 songs, but they're, they've all just been me solely. Um, but I found this person who actually lives around here in Illinois as well. And um, he sent me his vocals already. I'm going to be working on mine. I'm excited to do this song with him. So, And then after that, probably just... You know, I have a catalog already, maybe just focus more on promotion and get my music out there. And it would be great to have more Filipinos listen to the music, too. You know? But of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anybody and everybody. Anybody and anybody, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get get your music out there. Mm -hmm. Trying. Thank you so much, Renz, for being of on course. the show. And look forward to more songs from you. Thank you so much. Like it's great, like being back here after, like we were talking about it beforehand. Just like two years before yeah. was yeah. actually the first song I ever released, and then now I have, um, fifteen songs, like four off the EP, and it's just in two years, and now we're talking again. It's just it's surreal that I just kept, you know, going at it and just being here again, talking to you about everything. It's great. That's great. Anthony's little sister, Coco Abigail.
Thank you so much, Renz Anthony, for being a guest and sharing your brand new song, Tears Fall Down, right here on Vilma, live in LA. And thank you to Coco Abigail, yes, the siblings on the show. Wow, such a great treat. Anyway, we will be back with more Vilma live in LA. In the meantime, keep doing what you love, keep smiling, always have gratitude, say thank you, and just love life. So from me to you, we always give you a whole lot of 